The House of Assembly on Friday, 16th April 2021, concluded debate on the 2021-2022 budget with several pronouncements made by the government. St. Lucians are to benefit from several housing and land rationalization programs to be rolled out by government. Prime Minister Honorable Alan Chastney detailed the programs as he presented the Appropriation Bill 2021-2022 in Parliament Tuesday, 13th April. Honorable Chastney said that the housing policy and related interventions by government have consistently been rooted in four main principles. To increase the number of St. Lucian land and homeowners to provide our citizens with access to safe and affordable housing, to rationalize existing unplanned settlements, and to establish residential land developments around the island. In last year's budget address, I alluded to the commencement of a number of initiatives with respect to settlement upgrades and the rationalization of several unplanned developments. These are ongoing activities. The full approval for the development plans of OPICA, OJ being granted by DCA. Mr. Speaker, our sites and services program this year will focus on the provisions of approximately 133 lots in Lafag, PI, Monier, and the Rishbat T. Rocher Miku. We're also looking at 290 lots in the community of Anger and another 250 lots in Volet. The infrastructure associated with this program includes the construction of double-lane concrete access roadways and associated reinforced concrete drains and culverts, as well as the installation of water and electricity supply networks. Honorable Chastney further informed that two new housing developments in Odsa and Bele will commence this year and will impact at least 200 households. Honorable Chastney told the House that government must ensure that existing residents are not left out of the formal development space that is being created. Affordable lots must be provided, he said, for those who want to become property owners. Provisions must also be made for commercial operations, recreational green spaces, institutional uses, and multifamily structures. Mr. Speaker, all of our people deserve to live with an environment that makes them feel safe. They want an environment that it reflects their broad appreciation and provides a sense of dignity and worth. We intend to deliver that to them. It is my expectation that this initiative, along with others driven by the private sector, will serve to advance and enhance the converged conversation surrounding settlement development in St. Lucia. In this context, the review of the national housing policy and strategic plan that will be undertaken this year is most opportune. Plans for housing developments in Shock, Talvin and Boisjoli are also underway.